What can we all do to help? Royce Jones spoke exclusively with the governor of Hawaii, Quaker Valley High School graduate Josh Green. Royce. Yeah, Ken, according to the governor of Hawaii, 29% of the impact zone has been surveyed and scores of additional fatalities are expected as hundreds of search and rescue personnel from multiple agencies continue their efforts in the aftermath of these wildfires. We've now set up a very comprehensive housing program, uh, Operation uh, House Maui, which has uh, over 2,000 units now to put people into whether they've been displaced from, by the fire or if they're first responders and, and folks that are gonna help us rebuild. Speaking exclusively with KDKA tonight, Hawaii Governor Josh Green, who grew up in Sewickley, telling us crews are making progress following what he calls the greatest natural disaster in the state's history, including the reopening of a major roadway that will offer better access for those coming in to provide aid, something he says the people of Hawaii need desperately. I bleed black and gold, uh, as you know, and so I would be honored if, if the people of Pittsburgh supported the people of Hawaii. The American Red Cross tells KDKA over 270 volunteers, four from PA, are currently in Hawaii providing round-the-clock care. Providing them with a safe place to stay, food to eat, and also emotional support. Those volunteers are also part of the effort to reunite people with their loved ones by tracking down their neighbors and pinpointing places they frequent. But some of that work is being hindered by the ongoing threat of danger. With fires, you know, continuing to burn in some areas too. So uh, making sure that, you know, first responders can get in there to conduct their searches and, and rescues. Brothers Brother Foundation President Ozzy Samad tells KDKA his organization has acquired hygiene kits, baby formula, tarps, and hard hats, all ready to be flown to the island. You want to make sure from our perspective that whatever we send um, actually gets where it's supposed to go. Samad says right now they have about enough supplies to fill a shipping container, but before sending, they must make sure there's somebody on the ground to receive the items or else they may never be distributed. The key is who can accept it at the other end and how they can clear it and actually bring it to people. The American Red Cross, the Brothers Brother Foundation, and the Hawaii Community Foundation are all accepting monetary donations online right now. To help, just search for this story on our website, kdka.com. I'm Royce Jones, KDKA TV News.